on May 30th of 2016 on a family bike ride. Bowie had an accident coming down a little bit of a hill and landed on his face. He was then life lighted to Eggleston Hospital in Atlanta. The next day they removed half the side of his skull to allow for the brain swelling. They put him in a medically induced coma and paralyzed him. He stayed in that state for another week until they pulled him out and gradually he came to and was not able to speak, hold his head up, sit up, move. We literally started all over again from ground zero. We've been through the medical system with speech pathologists and occupational therapists and physical therapists and after going through all that stuff that we had been through, I mean, we, we still didn't really understand what was going on with Bowie. I got the call from Atlanta from Bowie's family. They were in huge crisis. Time was ticking away. Their son was not making progress. So we made arrangements for them to get to Boston. When Bowie arrived to Zenden, there were obvious physical limitations that he had. He was also unable to talk, to drink, to swallow. He had a feeding tube. Mary is in tune with the body, and she's the first one that explained to us what was going on with Bowie. When I started my treatment protocol with Bowie, I knew I had to activate his midbrain and his brainstem because some of the skills that he had lost, basic sucking reflex, swallowing reflex, those all live in the brainstem. I also knew that he was in an extreme fight or flight and his body became extremely rigid and those were the pieces I had to treat first. So we can spend an hour in occupational therapy doing things with Bowie just put these pegs in this block and an hour later he's exhausted, looks worse than we came in. And Mary can put him on a stool, spin him a certain direction five times, stand him up and have a dot on a stick and move it around and all of a sudden he's like refreshed like he's had a two hour nap. So the therapy of Bowie was, it was intricate, it was from my gut because I had no idea what Bowie's condition was when he came. And I like it that way because I can see things on my own instead of diagnoses that put him in a box. That said, I don't want Bowie's story to be a sad story. I want Bowie's story to be inspirational to families who have been through traumatic brain injury. Anything that you lose in terms of skill can be recaptured and rewired because the brain is neuroplastic. And that is the premise from which I work. So to come here and have someone intentionally healing our spirit, mind, and body was so different um, than anything that we expected. I feel like we left emotionally better than when we came. We cried when we booked our tickets this time, just like, yes, this is the right thing to do.